happy to honor him and his family with the opening of this new park, which will be enjoyed by the community members for generations and generations. So we're setting a great example of what community members can do and why this is opening today. As you look around, I think all of us can be proud of the park's unique design. You can come here to enjoy all the new amenities and still appreciate so much of Southern Nevada's beauty. The park includes several overlooks that preserve the nature desert, natural desert terrain shaped by the Las Vegas wash. A cons conservation area of several acres, approximately 10, were set aside to preserve the Las Vegas buckwheat plants to our native area. BLM, very stringent, so it took an incredible task by County Works and the construction companies to make sure that that was protected, so it's really important. Um, one of the favorite features, though, as you walk around the park is a butterfly garden located just west of where we are on an overlook by the walk through the park, which is really incredible. The garden features plants that attract butterflies and is decorated today with lovely butterflies created by first and second grade students at the nearby Joseph E. Therrett Elementary School. And it's amazing. When the school was being named, the gentleman was about 98 years old. And we, so we did a pre-dedication, not trying to, to presume or guess what his lifespan would be, but it was really incredible that he was able to be at everything that they had and was able to enjoy the school that was there. So it was really a great time. Today, we have a special guest. We enlisted the fifth graders at the school to help us name the garden. Our, and and um, the butterfly creation naming contest. I always think it's really exciting when we get our youth involved in something that they're going to utilize. And so it's um, been something we've done throughout the years. Today, the fifth grader is here, um, and I'm happy to announce the winner. Tommy Parsoma. I apologize. That's why he is the winner of the contest. Um, <laughs> That's very good. Names always catch you sometimes, but good. So what I'm going to do is ask you to come up. Garden is named the Crown Victoria because Tommy learned that many cab companies have traditionally used Ford Crown Victoria full-size sedans as cabs. Um, and they does say here, FYI, Prius. I'm going to just say that. We want a little bit of levity here. But um, we really do thank you all. What I'm going to do first is to Tommy. I want to call it the Butterfly Garden, the Crown Victorian Butterfly Garden. I want to call it this, the Crown Victoria Butterfly Garden, because I learned that Charles Frias was a taxi cab driver. I am a big car guy, and I know that they use foreign Crown Victorias for everything, police cars, taxi cabs, etc. They use Crown Victorias for everything, because I know those cars are made really tough for police cars. Anyway, I want our Butterfly Garden to have some, have a name that is strong, tough, and 